I grew up in the optical field and eye care. My father was an optician and owned a store and he forced me to work there, <laughs> which was fun. I liked it. My grandparents and my parents wanted me to go to school for to be an optometrist and maybe take over the store. Uh, and I said, no, I want to be an actor. <laughs> when I was studying theater, we uh, worked very hard studying scenes. Our finals were acting in front of you know, the, the school, basically, um, and it took a lot of work. I decided to go back to eye care, so I, wor so I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. I worked in an optical, and I was a, like, in the, worked in the front and sold glasses and contact lenses. Watching them and understanding how they interact with patients and how I interact with the patients, I saw the career of optometry and it started to look really really appealing to me. I decided to make a, an appointment with admissions and find out what I needed to do to get into the school. And they gave me a list of things to do. I said, what do I need to get into the school? They told me what I needed to do, which was a lot and a little scary at the time. Biology, physics, chemistry, things I've never even heard of. <laughs> Calculus, math, I, it's been 10 years since I've taken a math class. I enrolled in uh, an undergraduate college and knew that I had about seven years uh, ahead of me and decided, well, I guess this is the time. I worked so hard at these classes and I realized that once I took my first chemistry quiz and I got a, an A on it, I saw that if I worked hard enough, I can definitely do this. I did well in my prerequisite classes. I have a new transcript that is full of science classes and, and good grades. They offered me an interview and I interviewed and within five days I got accepted and I jumped for joy. <laughs>